Salutations my good people. Have you ever seen your parents get brutally shot in an alleyway, become emotionally disturbed, and so psychologically unstable that you dress up as a bat and deliver severe physical trauma like your fucking Santa Claus? Yeah, I didn't think so. But fortunately, that's what we're going to experience while playing Batman Arkham Asylum. Now let me give you a quick synopsis. Batman, Alcoholics Anonymous, was made in the same year that God invented Detroit. The setting takes place in Arkham Asylum, where only the most deranged and psychotic monsters are kept. Monsters such as the Green Goblin, Killer Cock, and Big Bird from Sesame Street. Truly fiends to be wary of. Oh, and uh, I believe it also doubles as a nursing home, where the pudding is fucking dreadful. So yeah, you know this place is fucked up. Anyways, we play as a no-name superhero who goes by the name of Batman or something. Now Batman is known for being vengeance incarnate, dressing up in a bat suit like if he's attending a furry convention, having mental problems, obtaining too much money but not enough to fix his underlying issues, and hospitalizing jaywalkers. And yes, while the bones may be shattered, and the damage is irreversible, there is a lesson to be learned. That lesson being, no one can escape justice, or if brutally beaten by Batman, medical bills. We start off by putting Joker where he belongs, and since it's maximum security, there is no way he's breaking free and taking over Arkham Asylum. Okay, and that's exactly what he managed to accomplish. Well, now that the Joker is out and about, it's time I do whatever a bat does, and what a bat does is incapacitate and fatally beat opponents with significantly less fighting capabilities. Now let's get this dance started. I immediately start getting my ass handed to me on a platter but it doesn't take long before my geriatric neurons start firing and I get a quick handle on the controls. I beat the first wave of sacrificial flesh and soon to follow the second wave gets taken out. After tormenting their corporeal existence, I quickly move on to whatever comes next because justice doesn't stop and neither do I. Now we're introduced to one of the most challenging boss fights in video game history. It's Zaz. Just uttering that name makes me want to fall into a deep state of dysphoria and proceed having an emotional breakdown. This fight is incredibly difficult, and I wouldn't be surprised if it takes me several hours and attempts in the pursuit of beating this one opponent. I beat him. And just as quickly as he was brought into this world, he was taken out of it. Rest in peace, my boy Zaz. He was gone too soon. I killed them. A cutscene happens, and we get some much needed exposition, but unfortunately, I was distracted so I paid attention to none of it. Now let's move on. Alright now, this is when the going gets good. This is when our true prowess is tested. Utilizing our wits, strength, and detective aptitude to achieve and solve this problem. There are three men currently dangling off, near death. One miscalculation and they fall into the Joker's ass gas. I of course immediately rescue the person furthest from me. Turns out, this man is a convict. Well, we're not a hero for nothing, so I decided to do the right thing and rescue him. After all, just because you're a villain doesn't mean you deserve to die. Never mind. With all three men rescued, we can now march forward, one fist at a time and prevent Joker from taking over Detroit. While taking a nice stroll through Arkham Asylum, moving as fast as possible to make it to the next objective, I get ambushed by two flesh bags. I quickly turn their bones into paste and make them realize what true fear is. After portraying the fear of God to the inmates, it was about time for a proper boss fight. I fight what I believe is the true embodiment of an alpha male. I'm He throws a deceased officer at me, classic alpha move. But thanks to my supernatural reflexes, I am quick to evade the incoming attack. Having no other tactic, he decides to have a cardiac arrest and die. I'm you. Now it's time for another cutscene but I'll spare you the details and give you a quick summary instead. 
Basically what occurs is Officer Balls betrays us and takes Commissioner Gordon Ramsay. In order to save Gordon Ramsay, we need to find something that we can track Officer Balls with. Fortunately for us, he dropped his piss juice. Unfortunately for him, he'll soon have two shattered vertebrae. We follow the piss trail and land ourselves into another cutscene. Be quiet. What's going on? I told you to shut the fuck up, dude. Ah, 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 man. Mr. J doesn't want you following us ah, just boner. Yet. Harley cuts the wires of the elevator and tells us not to follow her. No way you're following us now. So instinctively, I started following. We make our way to the top, leading us to the next event. We soon position ourselves in a rather engrossing, physically belligerent discourse. I of course unhesitantly abuse their existence until they're nothing except insipidly defunct cadavers. Take that! Stupid. Now for this particular instance, stealth and meticulousness will be placed as the foreground, so it is imperative that I do not unveil my whereabouts. And that's precisely what occurs. Wow, me. Truly an impeccable performance. A rather sophisticated play. Ah, but fret not, for this battle is yet salvageable. Oh. Oh, isn't that cute? Little bats are sleeping. Someone finish him off. And after playing this game to my utmost human capabilities, I acquired some takeaways that I would like to share with you. Number one being that Batman's only vulnerability is death. Now my second takeaway is that through this experience, I've single-handedly become the best detective in human history. My third takeaway is more of an observation. You see, after acquiring my detective skills, I happened to notice something. I am of course referring to the fact that this game has a severe lack of the infamous villain known as Big Bird. This is somewhat disappointing, but see I postulate that the sheer thought of adding someone as cruel and as sadistic as Big Bird was just too much of a terrifying burden for the developers to incorporate. Hell, I even believe that they tried to do it, but like 10 of the game designers died or something. Other than that, it was an enjoyable experience. I give Harley Quinn's sexy nurse outfit 10 premature ejaculations out of 10. Oh, and the game a 5, I guess. Guys, it's me, Spider Man. Life is a great big pain, wherever there's a pain, you'll find the Spider-Man!